Welcome back to RB Sensei. To my diehard fans, make sure you watch at least until 9 minutes because watch time is the most important factor to this channel growing and being successful. To new watchers, if you like this video at any point, like and comment. Be sure to follow me on Rumble, Discord, or Twitter. Links below. Because who knows how long they're going to let me stay on the tube. Now let's get into this ridiculous nonsense. I'm starting to think almost 98% of women are retarded. <laughs> Like something is seriously wrong with most of them, man. They're all mentally ill. <laughs> most of them are mentally ill. Socially awkward and batch crazy. What's wrong with y'all women? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy! Hey, princess. I noticed you left me undelivered for 16 hours. I know you're on your phone! I see you active on Instagram! They will kick those heels off and beat your butt. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess this is the, the mental ward episode of Modern Dating Cure. Where do I start on the red flags? Clown makeup, the stupid eyebrows, the stupid multiple nose rings, the stupid tattoos, etc., 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 etc. I feel sorry for some of these women I do. I would not want to live in their brain for a day. For a second, really. <laughs> Can you imagine the chaos that is these people's lives? And I'm assuming when she said, you know, I see you online, princess, she's talking about a guy and she's trying to belittle and emasculate a guy by calling him a princess because he doesn't want to deal with her batch crazy ass. I really felt like I needed to share this. I, I can't do it. I am turning into a podcast girl like I would have never thought, but here I am listening to Girls Gone Bible and they brought up the topic of masculine and feminine in relationships and stuff. And they preface by saying like masculine isn't when like we say masculine, it's not like six, five plays football will fight anyone like that's not masculine. Okay. Yeah. Five, four. Masculinity really means being in tune with your emotions, accepting your emotions, owning up to them. Right. Masculinity is all about emotions. They're going to flip it. Look, by the time, <laughs> look, I don't need to hear about what masculinity is from a basic bitch on TikTok. That's first and foremost. But second, by the time a woman has to learn about femininity and masculinity on a, on a stupid podcast, she's done as far as a relationship. How could you be so sure? By the time a woman has to be coached into femininity, it's, it's pretty much over with. What is that, a finger necklace? What's going on there? Is that about to be a new stupid trend? Finger chains? God. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Not running away, like taking care of the situation. And this like made so much sense to me. They were like, you can compare a masculine man to a rock because his emotions are so strong and solid that nothing can move him. I mean, I agree with that. A lot of dudes think they're masculine, but they always like losing their temper and they have no patience for anything. They're just like volatile emotionally. Yeah, those guys aren't masculine. They're faking it. Screaming and being aggressive all the time don't make you masculine, dickhead. Message. Message. And since women are so emotional and we can come at a man with so much emotion and feelings and whatever else it is, if a man is masculine, he is so solid that you can bring those problems, those feelings, those emotions to him and he can make them better. How did I know she was going to relate masculinity back to what he's going to do for her? No, a man could be masculine and still not want to put up with your bullshit. Okay. You sure coming from? You sure coming from? Yeah. Oh, if a man doesn't want to put up with my emotional roller coaster, he's not really masculine. Typical shaming bullshit. I've been seeing multiple videos this week about the dating apps, and I just I got I re, I'm refueled with hatred for them, so I deleted them again because it's true. They were talking. The videos I saw were talking about the algorithms, and like the algorithms truly do not want you to find a date because if they did, or or find a match, not just a date, but if they did. The algorithms would we have the technology now they would be fine-tuned to find you your perfect person be your perfect person be your perfect person that's stupid use your common sense just use your comments there's no such thing as a perfect person so you already sound like an idiot and i already know 
why you can't find anyone. Isn't it funny when they have to keep, you know, downloading, deleting, downloading, deleting the dating apps? Like, what's wrong with you in real life? Women have options. They've had options since they were little girls. So you've been going a long time without being able to make something work. What's up with that? Can you address that? You don't really want to know. Look, if women were in control of the algorithm, <laughs> only the top 5% men would show up. They're so annoyed that they got to swipe through all the other quote unquote losers, the bottom 95 percenters. Man, you're not good enough for a top 5 percenter. Just stop dating then. Stop re-downloading those damn apps. Stop it. You hurting yourself. Just let it go. Or as close to that as possible. And you would be finding people left and right. But they don't because they want you to be just a little bit unsatisfied. So I'm like, yeah, why Why am I wasting my time and my energy on these? Because you don't got shit else better to do. Hence, this video we're watching right now. You don't have a life. Your life is swiping, swiping, swiping. You have a life of swipe. Why don't you go touch some grass and actually meet somebody that way? Oh my gosh, I've never thought about that. <laughs> Do you want access to two to three exclusive live streams that won't be available to my basic subscribers? Not really, no. Are you tired of listening to these stupid ads? Yes. Do you want access to over 70 exclusive unseen episodes? No. No need. Do you want to see my videos at least one day early and be a complete alpha jazz? Or a G'd up Tyrone? What kind of shit is that? Then I got news for you, champ. For $5 a month via Subscribestar or Patreon, you can get all that. And if you want the convenience of staying on YouTube, you can join the YouTube membership for $10 a month. Man, get the fuck out of here, nigga! These apps that are quite literally designed for you to actually not find someone. Because I'm trying to change my mindset a bit to be a bit more optimistic. <laughs> it's hard. I'm a woman. Superior gender. Men are supposed to worship the superior gender. I'm like, you know, the creme de la creme of the female species. Bow down in the presence of royalty. Women's egos are so thick, they can't accept that maybe they're just not fun to be around, you know, for days or even weeks at a time. And in about 10 years, 10 or 15 years, it'll all get flipped. I just need a man, I'm lonely. I need, I need somebody to take care of my three kids. I'm lonely. It'll all flip. It'll all flip. But I'm trying to be a bit more optimistic when it comes to dating and think, like, hope, pray, believe that there's somebody out there for me that I actually think is hot and, like, funny and respectful. You know, she started with hot. Super hot. He can't just be kind of good looking either. Like, he has to be smoking fucking hot. Ma'am, you're not smoking fucking hot. You're not funny. You're not any of the things you just mentioned. What makes you think you can make a relationship work with that man even if he wanted to be with you? She genuinely thinks that she knows what she's talking about. It would be incredibly difficult for her to even begin to keep up with decency in a relationship. You don't know how to go through the ups and downs with a man. All you know how to do is throw a man away at the first sign of trouble. All you know how to do is swipe away the first time you read a sentence that you didn't think was so perfect. Nothing about you is relationship material, including the fact that you talk about your personal life on social media for the world to see. You're a horrible deal for the men you think you're better than. So don't even get me started on the men that you think are better than you. Every time I go on the apps, I'm like, girl, there's no one. <laughs> there's no one on here. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. You think you can do this to me? That's all right. That's all right. Is it wrong that I love the fact that these women are going to, you know, pass away alone and be miserable from now? to you know 85 90 is it wrong that i think that's beautiful <laughs> is it wrong that i think it's beautiful that terrible people are going to get their just due which is a lifetime of misery is that wrong that i smile at that thought absolutely not I do not believe in being friends with your girlfriend's men on social media i also don't believe that i should ever have your man's number or you have my man's number and some people think that's crazy and I don't care. I don't need your man checking me out or looking at my stories or what I'm up to. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. 
and I really don't care to be looking at his. At the end of the day, men are visual. You can be naive. You're too old to care about social media. You look old, and you really need to leave your lips alone, please. You didn't do yourself any favors with whatever you did to your lips. It made you look older and crazier. Get off social media. How about that? How about that? Fellas, if you're going to deal with these modern day demons, look, stay off social media with them. Don't even give them your social media if you have one. They don't need to be on your social media. It's just a cesspool of drama. And then she's going to have her friends look it up and they're going to be stalking you. Yeah, just if you do got social media, tell these broads you don't have one. You have any great ideas? Just keep them to your fucking self, okay? all you want but i don't want any of my girlfriend's men seeing me all sexy or done up or vice versa i think this is wrong i don't know why people do it like i have girlfriends and sometimes their men will try to add me and i won't add them or i don't believe in having my man's friends on social media like why do your male friends need to have me unless we're really cool we've hung out multiple times even then like we don't need to be that close. You're my man's friend. You're not my friend. And I don't need another man looking at my stuff. Look at her. She's still running off at the mall. Even if their boyfriends were trying to add you and spank their meat to you, you know, while they're in the bathroom at three in the morning, it doesn't make you an important person. I'm tired of women thinking just because guys want to, you know, boink them, use them as a human S dial or jerk off to them, that that makes them a valuable human being in the universe. Too many women are satisfied with objectification being their only worth in the world. If you find yourself without a lot of friends, it might be because you outshine people. I often think of the 48 laws of power, and one of the laws is to never outshine the master. Well, maybe you're just a narcissistic, egotistical bitch, and maybe that's why you don't have friends. Maybe you're not likable to talk to, likable to be around. I'm going to go with that, because I've only been watching this video, what, five seconds, and I already don't like it. If you want to join a friend group, let's say, and there is a leader of a friend group and you come in and you're maybe smarter or know something more or, you know, have some sort of uh, thing that they want, maybe the way that you look and you come in and you make outshine that master, you make that leader look bad. They will not want you back. She tried to make it seem like it could have been intelligence, but it's really all about looks in these female friend groups. That's the reason she thinks <laughs> the leader was intimidated by her, because she looked better than her. Nothing to do with reading a book, nothing to do with intelligence, nothing to do with a great personality. It's all about looks. We already know she's all about looks. Once you start altering your lips and face and shit, that's the main priority in life for you is looks. That leader will make a point to bad talk you, to, you know, not invite you, to make sure that everybody is on board with the fact that you are, are not welcome anymore. And like I said, the reason why is because you just uh, on your own outshine them. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Me personally, I just grew out of wanting to be a part of a friend group or fit in with any group of humans at all. I just have no desire to fit in with any group whatsoever <laughs> for any reason. It actually disgusts me the thought of fitting in with a group. The politics and this and that, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> like, I have no interest whatsoever. But apparently her feelings was really hurt because she took time out of her day to write a script about this nothingness. Stop wasting my time. And that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! Yeah. You get to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat. Okay, first of all, I didn't miss the red flags. I looked at them and thought, damn, that's sexy. And that's my problem.